welcome back to Karma Light Readings. I am Karma. I hope that you guys are doing well and I thank you so much for coming to my channel and clicking on this video. If you're new here, welcome. Please make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell. If at any time you feel like you resonate with this reading, please go ahead and hit the like button. Remember to use your discernment in determining whether parts of this reading resonate with you or not. Um, it's very normal and natural for some to and some not to. If you are interested in a personal reading, you can click on the link in the description box below, find my website, use the code YouTube for 15% off. So, um, okay, before we got started, when I was meditating and, and connecting with your energy, um, spirit was showing me that there is a, a spirit, an energy, however you deem it in your life, I call it a spirit, but the spirit that is assigned to you right now um, and that is showing up in your life either in the form of infiltrating through entering other people who aren't protected um, or it could just be kind of the energy that is around you and in your home. But this energy is an energy that likes to, if it's showing up in other people, it's, it's a friend or it's a colleague or it's a person, maybe you're in a relationship with this person, Gemini who um, likes to bring in negativity or try to get you to do things that are tempting and will lead you away from your destined path and purpose. Things that are wrong, things that you know are not good, right? This is a person who, um, or this is a spirit who is trying to bring in financial loss, um, blockages in, in education, schooling, jobs, it's trying to infiltrate you in all areas. For some of you, this spirit, it's called, uh, the spirit is called the queen of the coast. That's what I'm tapping into. And if you uh, are not familiar with it, you can do your own research on it and, um, and try to understand what is happening in your life and see if you fall into some of those categories of the things that are happening. Um, another thing that this spirit does is it can affect fertility and it can affect, um, you know, births or losses, miscarriages and things like that or not being able to get pregnant. Um, and so there was all kinds of uh, that energy that was showing up, that was coming up. So um, I just wanted to make you aware of that and uh, make sure that you guys uh, do your research Um there might need to be some fasting involved for some of you, depending on how much it's affecting you and how many blockages are taking place. And you'll be able to deem that kind of on your own. So you may need to be doing fasting. Remember that when you're fasting, you're doing fasting with prayer and you're doing with, with, with prayer, strong prayer that can break strongholds, that can break chains and, um, things of that nature. If you can give me one second, I just realized that um, some of the crystals, I thought they were already on my finger. Um, let me grab those real quick. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this, my darlings. Let's see what we have for beautiful Gemini. Something, yeah, see, and so then I have the solar plex. So when I did my prayer and meditation, I always close my eyes and pull out colored candles so that I know like which um, chakra is being affected. And it's just interesting to me too that I pulled out yellow for you guys because especially when it was saying like infertility, there could be some type of womb, womb energy that needs to be healed, okay? Or prayed over, protected. Self-worth, all of that. All right, let's take a look here. What does Gemini need to know? abundance you are being asked to open yourself to abundance and to believe that you are deserving of it and to believe that it will flow to you this is the first important step toward receiving abundance breathe deeply and trust that it is on its way then you have connect you are being asked to connect to others in meaningful ways sometimes it's helpful to get new perspectives and to simply be around other people. You're in need of this right now and deep connections will benefit you in many ways. You also have it's time. You're being asked to move forward toward the dream that you've been carrying in your heart. 
it's time to bring it out into the world. You are ready. It's time. And then you also have pay attention on the bottom. You're being asked to pay extra close attention, Gemini, to the signs that are being given to you, both the subtle ones and the ones that cannot be missed. These signs are helping you to see how to best move forward in order to live your best life. Um, and I feel like some of you may feel like you've been on this journey for a really long time. Maybe you're getting a little bit tired, like when am I going to get to this destination? What is going on? Um, and they're asking you to keep going. They're asking you to keep going and to keep moving forward because the more you move forward, the easier it's going to be for you to cut those cords and release some of those bondages and blockages that are holding you back from the success and um, abundance that you're looking for. Remember that abundance and prosperity is a state of mind. And you first have to reach that state of mind before your life starts to reflect it. All right. So let's see here for Gemini, please. Suffering in silence, okay, so that's like the Nine of Swords. Foundation and achievements. That's the Four of Wands. Spiritual union, the Two of Cups. Movement, choices, and decisions. And new beginnings, which is the fool. On the bottom, you have sacrifice, which is the hanged man. The number 12 or 3 could be very important to you. You also have the numbers 9, 4, 2, and 0. Um, oh, and then you have the 9 of cups here. Fulfillment of wishes with the heart chakra. Things are going to start picking up for you uh, pretty quickly as soon as you make a decision to sacrifice and release what needs to be released you may have experienced um it's i feel like it's this deliverance that i was just talking about that needs to be released and this deliverance could be a person you may really need to let go of and release a person um, in your life okay um and sacrifice certain energies here because when this sacrifice takes place you're going to go through a brief pause or a slowdown of energy and it's going to look like everything is flipping upside down and it's going to make you want to freak out and spirit is saying please remain calm because the holy spirit is getting ready to enlighten you and awaken you in a major way and this is for expansion and growth for your highest good and i and i think some of you actually are like aware of that like you can you can you can feel that that energy coming all right so the current energy around you is suffering in silence. So, and I want you to look at this picture so you can understand what spirit is showing me. I feel like you've made it to the top of the mountain in a specific difficulty, okay? In something that was really hard, you've reached the top of the mountain. And that actually makes a lot of sense to me then why sacrifice is here because right now you're at the top and you're kind of looking off into the distance right at other possibilities and other challenges that you could encounter but some of these challenges that you're looking at if you can shift your perception you can see how amazing and beneficial they're going to be to your future and what it is you're trying to create there's a brief pause here while you release your past pain and suffering that's why we have this moment when we reach the top of the mountain, it's why we're often secluded. It's why we often reach a pause because now this is the, 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 the point where we shed all of that. It's like the 40 days and 40 nights that Jesus spent in the wilderness. It, that's literally the best way to describe it. Any of those fears, any of those anxieties that you're experiencing, they're coming right now because they're asking you to release it so that spirit can send you shooting downhill into your victory and into your your reward here so let's see what is the suffering in silence for gemini yeah the seven of cups i knew it there's like a lot of different opportunities you're looking out into the future mm -hmm. the ten of wands
I think some of you could also be overthinking and very anxious about the things that you're getting ready to release and let go of with this 10 of wands. Like what baggage am I letting go of? Honey, let it all go if you can, <laughs> you know? Um, I just feel like you're offloading a lot. And I love how this is you at the top of the mountain. And then to clarify, it shows you at the bottom with the 10 of wands, persevering, continuing to push forward, really discerning certain energies around you so that you can know which opportunities and, 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 and energies you don't want to invest in because you don't want to fall back into the same cycle or pattern. Yeah, there's a situation here that's brought you, holy moly, a lot of sadness. The Eight of Swords, being bound to something and stuck with the Three of Swords, nothing but pain and suffering while well, you're blind to how to remove yourself from it because I feel like somebody was speaking a lot of crud into your um, ear gates. And then you have the Ten of Swords. What is going on here? I mean, this is just like with the Five of Wands. It's almost like somebody's just constantly battling you or attacking you in this area. Clarify? Mm-hmm. Confinement. Somebody's literally trying to keep you stuck and trapped. Or you feel like you, you don't know how to set yourself free from this particular cycle. And maybe you're not really telling anybody how much you're suffering or how much anxiety you have over this particular energy here, over the situation. I feel like you're about to be fed up if you're not already with whatever this is. Clarify, please, for Gemini. Yeah, commitment. Something is literally trying, like you, this could be a soul contract that you need to release yourself from because it's very binding. You feel very, very locked in in this situation and it's not something that you want to be locked in on. What is this please? So you have foundation and achievements clarified by the Eight of Cups, the Three of Cups, the Eight of Swords, oh, and the Hanged Man. I'm going to do one more. It's, um, yeah, there it is, the Nine of Swords, which is suffering in silence. You have a decision to make here. And this decision is about walking away and setting yourself free from a possible group or family, a circle of friends, okay? You have the Three of Cups, the Eight of Cups, the Nine of Swords, clarify by clarifying the Foundation and Achievements card. A lot of you, Gemini, right now are looking for your tribe. Like your tribe that's going to stay with you. The tribe that really wants best for you. The tribe that... And, but I see you walking away and just letting something burn down so that you can move forward. I mean, it doesn't mean that it's not stressful. And I don't think you're fully disconnected or released from this yet. I think you're still like in the process of fully cutting these cords. Because what I, the energy that I see around you, I see you, I don't know what you recently went through where you had like you, you so many celebrations and things to be happy about and things that you were accomplishing in your life. And then there's just this energy here that, puts you down because well you've got all this great stuff going on why are you why are you heartbroken inside what is this anxiety about what is this fear about that's showing up in this energy homeless 
this. Okay. I, I, who did I do this for? I did a reading for Aquarius um, and it was kind of similar to this. And I feel like as a collective, we're all going through a phase right now where those who have been on this journey and doing the work, we're finally coming to that point where these cycles are closing and the new beginning is here. It's, it's no more like it's coming, it's here. And this is that last process. And so again, with this homeless card, it says failure, cast away, pour, and then you have gift. Um, and it talks about promotion and this is what's coming towards you and a lot of times a karmic cycle and a lesson it can make us feel defeated and as if we have failed because it ended and I want to reiterate to whoever this reading is for that just because something has ended in your life doesn't mean you failed the lesson not everything that we conquer is supposed to come with us. A lot of times when we conquer something, it's because it's supposed to leave us, okay? And I truly feel like that's what spirit is showing here. You have this, you're in the middle of a spiritual promotion. And this spiritual promotion is also a mental promotion, a mindset promotion, and it's a physical promotion in your life because whatever happens within will then happen without, as above, so below, within and without. Um, and this has to do with foundational patterns. So you may have truly experienced this with family or in a committed relationship or your strong uh, connections that are around you that you've kind of built your life on. And you may be at a point now where you're needing to cut cords and disconnect from people and energies of failure and blockages and people that are trying to keep you in that space of not being successful, of not achieving your dreams and your goals. You're needing to disconnect from that to receive this gift. And I also feel like that's where this nine of swords is because it's a little bit of like, what if? You know what I'm saying? Like, what if? And what's going to happen? So Aries energy here, the emperor taking charge. Spend more time with children. And you are the light, remember. You also have you, and, and spend more time with children, just so you know, could be your own inner child. Tap into little Gemini. What does he or she need um, to get back and connected to pure source and pure energy? Blessings and rewards are coming and you are spiritually gifted. Again, that's what this gift is about. And then here, oh look, and I told you about Aquarius. So things are being revealed to you here with Aquarius energy. You could be dealing with an Aries or an Aquarius. Um, I do feel like there's a restoration that's being brought into your life. You may be seeing things more clearly. Maybe your crown chakra is opening up as well. The intentions of this foundation um, and what you're releasing and walking away from, I want you to understand it could also be behaviors foundational behaviors that you learned as a child that you're leaving behind because the purpose of this is to bring you into spiritual union that's that's the intention and maybe that spiritual union actually is within yourself it's your own masculine and feminine energy and you're coming into union with, with self yeah fate this is something that you were supposed to go through here all right tell me about this please the intentions of this and what's coming towards Jen. The hanged man and the five of swords. Okay, with the ace of swords. Well, sometimes I would, you know, that's what needs to happen. There's a disconnection and a pause, Gemini, here on a relationship with somebody that was creating a headache. It does look like there was a lot of arguments. The card shows that blood was shed. So, I mean, this was intense. This was this was a, a challenging situation and it was, it was quite difficult. Um, and I feel like everything is, is flipped upside down right now. And you're just kind of 
in limbo, hanging in the air, trusting that the Most High is gonna lead you to where you need to go. And that's, you're exactly where you're supposed to be at this time. Remember, fate came out. So there could be a connection or your love life could be on hold. Maybe you're isolated as well from other uh, friendships or relationships that you have where you figure this out. Yeah, real estate. I'm telling you, this is about rebuilding on a new foundation and reinvesting in yourself. Disco you know, discovering and living in your worth. Yeah. What? I, I opened it up to conflict. So you have a blessing coming. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to understand what spirit is saying, but I, I, I feel like there is, there's, there's a, like a friendship or somebody that you have to release. Cause I don't understand yeah, disturbance. I don't, I don't understand why they're so obsessed with you receiving goodness in your life. That disturbance is that spirit that I was tapping in the queen of the coast that I was tapping into in the beginning. Eternal love. That's that spiritual union. So your love life could be under attack or the way that you connect with other people could be under attack. And so you're in the process of needing to deliver yourself from that energy, but also maybe praying over these connections to help deliver the whole situation and anyone else involved. Because I see a reward coming to you and I see it also simultaneously creating conflict, either from an outside source or like somebody's manipulative or argumentative yeah it's not for you who is this this person doesn't want you to receive that low self-worth i'm what in the world what's going on scorpio energy time to review your relationships in life major transformation there it is stolen abundance Okay, so now that makes sense. Because when I said what in the world, the energy that came through was almost like somebody was trying to prevent your love life from moving forward or there was some type of manipulative energy placed over your love life so you couldn't see clearly. And love life doesn't have to be intimate. This could be friends and family. It's like how you connect with others, okay? And it's just like whatever this connection was, All right, maybe you're in a relationship right now that you're getting ready to leave or that you're trying to end because after so many times of trying to repair this, you're realizing you're suffering in silence. You feel trapped and stuck and you're realizing that maybe what you thought was, was for you is not for you. It's giving you a lot of low self-worth. It's something that doesn't make you feel good about yourself. And so you're wanting to put an end to it here with the Scorpio card and create a new beginning. Yeah, because what spirit wants you to focus on is this uh, tool of wands. Movement, choices, and decisions, honey. If somebody doesn't wanna grow and evolve with you, don't hold yourself back. That's all I'm gonna say. That's just my, my personal, and I know that Certain situations are different and it's hard and it's this, but you know, whoever I'm tapping into, you have this beautiful opportunity that the divine is, is handing to you for you to be able to walk your path without the baggage of your past, without the trauma. What is this two of wands, movement choices and decisions for Gemini that you want them to be focused on? Yeah, the seven of wands. You have to do this for you, but I, I, I see where you feel like your back is up against the wall with a lot of people that are trying to dictate and determine to you 
which way they want you to go. You also have Libra here. So you have a very strong decision to make. You could also be dealing with a legal issue here. If you're separating from someone or, or getting some type of divorce or ending a contract, you have the nine of cups, but you standing firm in your power and like putting some boundaries down and being assertive in these choices and in these decisions and in the way that you want your life to turn out is what shifts this balance here. Ooh, see the devil. I told you there's, there's like a tempting offer that's trying to come in to get you off path. That's why you have pay attention. Pay attention to any red flags and signs that are showing up in your life because you got blessings coming your way, fulfillment, well-being, and enlightenment. But you have to determine which path is going to take you there by listening to your intuition and listening to where you are being called and led. That's why New Beginnings is here. Yes, because there's a trap. Who is this? This person keeps trying to set you up or trap you or make you believe that they're there for a different reason. But then anytime you connect with this energy, it's like they play you. Vir yeah, isolate yourself. Virgo energy. You need more information. This person operates from a, a wound space, okay? Um, what's projecting onto you is low self-esteem, lack of self-motivation and self-doubt. That's a projection from this person and I feel like you could be absorbing this person's energy. You are not crazy, you are just awakening. You're needing to isolate because again, that's why this uh, hanged man is here because there's some type of hidden information that's gonna be revealed to you in the form of spiritual wisdom. There's something to do here with the child and a father and the father not being there for the child. I don't know how that connects to you. Maybe it was you or maybe it's happening to your child or you know maybe you're wanting to be a better dad it's something like that's kind of where i feel like this particular soul lesson is at for whatever gemini i'm connecting to like the root of this stems from a father wound that needs to be filled with the light of god so that you can heal it so that you can perceive and see something differently and start to discern these spirits that are coming into your life to keep you under attack and to keep you feeling, you know, depraved. Yeah, God is stretching you exercise. Not depraved, deprived. So God is stretching you. And that's what this new beginning is. When God stretches us, it hurts. It, it hurts, okay? He removes us from certain situations you have new beginnings here, and sometimes we don't want to be removed from those situations. What is this new beginnings? Temperance. That's I, that's where the healing comes in. That's where the shift from this chaotic situation takes place. The Four of Pentacles. Um, again, keeping to yourself, holding something near and dear to your heart, allowing yourself to. Um, what do I want to say? Be selfish. There are moments and times when being selfish, Gemini, is vital to your own growth. And I feel as though in this particular instance, because I've been tapping into an energy that doesn't really want you to go this route of healing. And they don't want you to have these new beginnings that are going to create balance. They don't want your path to be divinely guided. Okay? And so you have to go within and you need to hold on to what is important and strong to you. And really what I'm seeing here is this is now a, a space where you need to operate from morals, values, and faith only and not operate from anything worldly. What are you trying to create? What is the life you're trying to build? Ask the Most High to help you so that your steps are, you know, anointed and, and properly laid out for you. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. These signs will help you see how to best move forward in order to live your best life. 
some things that you don't want to let go of, some things that you don't want to release, perceptions, beliefs, behaviors, addictions, whatever it is, Spirit is saying it's time. You have to release these now so that we can move you forward. All right, you have unconditional love showing up. You are beloved. You are pure at nature, at, at your heart. Vow. Look at that. Wow. I just want you to know, whoever I'm tapping into, Gemini, the Most High is here to help you. And I feel like you have a lot of confusion because there's somebody around you, again, who wears a mask of portraying to be somebody who wants your success, who wants you to be better, but they really don't. They're really, really upset about, about the blessings that the Most High is pouring over your life. I feel like you've stayed very focused on your worship, on your healing, on your prayer life. Um, and now you're, you're receiving God's mercy over a specific situation where light is shining. And you're going to be shown who is loyal and who's in your corner. And for some of you, you're coming to this realization that the only one who's ever really had your back up until now has been God. And that in itself is going to change and transform your life. It hasn't been some of these outside people. And that's where you're going to start really reviewing relationships and connections and allowing yourself to be okay with leaving people where they belong. You are spiritually gifted. Share your gift. Yes, the Most High is pouring down on you. That's what I'm seeing here. Low vibrational energy is around. Clear and cleanse your space. Change your focus because you're blocking your manifestations and you're allowing yourself to repeat cycles and patterns. You are leveling up spiritually and somebody else is not. And it's got them in a, a, an energy of regret and remorse. Okay? And this person, it says they're very unstable. This was like a karmic soulmate. This person or situation is very, very unstable. Confusing energy is around you. So pay attention to how you feel when this, this person or group comes around you because Spirit's asking you to sacrifice this so that you can receive your fulfillment, so that you can move on to that new journey. Don't listen to the naysayers, Gemini. All right, I send you much love.